we're not going to re-edit this in some crazy way. We're not going to take that out of context and, and tell people bait. that you bullied us. It's not going to be clickbait It's not going to be clickbait. We're j- just like for us. Why don't you bully us? Yeah. Courtney Miller bullied us. <laughs> Talk shit. I'm Sid. I am Olivia. And we talk some shit. Today we have a wonderful, beautiful guest. Yeah, the absolutely stunning. The one and only Courtney, Courtney Miller. Everybody, let's do a big clap. This is our clap. studio audience. Uh, you might know Courtney from Smosh. Or uh, just being cool in she general. She is a powerhouse. She's fucking awesome. We are absolutely blessed to have her here. Stop. Um, you're wonderful. Yeah, yeah we absolutely. love you. Thanks, guys. And um, so today we're going to be doing uh, some fun games, some fun activities, and we're going to be talking about something that we're all familiar with, and we I'm sure you to are too. We all had to go through bullying. middle school. Oh. oh. <laughs> Welcome to the episode about middle, middle school, school and, and bullying. bullying. Yeah. They're synonymous. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> they don't exist without one another. Did you guys have the absolute best time in middle school? Yeah, um, uh, <laughs> absolute best. Uh, Courtney, where did you go to middle school? I went to middle school in California, in the valley. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Olivia, have you ever been bullied? Oh, how could you? How could you guess? Um, <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Um, to start us off, Courtney, would you define like what bullying is? Oh, I was thinking about that on the way here. I was yeah. like, what is bullying mm-hmm. by definition? I I didn't Google it because I was behind a wheel. No, but I think that's really good. You know what? <laughs> Actually, if you can't define it, I think a better way to learn what it is would be and by example. So maybe do you want to bully us? Yeah, you could bully us. Well, that's, I mean, if that's your kink. Here's it's, the thing. It's definitely our kink. It's consensual. <laughs> we asked for it. Yeah, we're not going to re-edit this in some crazy way. We're not going to take that out of context and, and tell people bait. that you bullied us. It's not going to be clickbait It's not going to be clickbait. We're j- just like for us. For us and our kink. Why don't you bully us? Yeah. That was really good. Okay, so <laughs> Courtney Miller okay, bullied I, us. I, I think like, the, so the term bully is kind of like bully, like from the 50s when they'd be like, oh, that's bully, like bullshit. And I feel okay. like it's like bullying is like just doing it for no reason, being mean for no reason. Like, yeah. what are you, you your chicken earrings? Yeah. What are you a freaking, are you a, are you a little chicken coop? Yep. Exactly. And like, it's, sometimes it's not even creative like that. Yeah. 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 It's just meant to bring a, bring a, a person down. Yeah. Yeah. No other valid reason. Yeah. 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 If you were going to bully me, what would you say? <sighs> the, oh. Courtney, if you were going to bully me, what would you say? <laughs> What's this stupid butterfly tattoo on your arm? What are you, a little, like, tree? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that really hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like me. <laughs> but the thing is, I so I feel like I've been on both ends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of the okay. bullying spectrum. I've been a bully as well. Yeah. What what is what's an example of a time you've been bullied and a time you've been a bully? Okay. Well, um, <laughs> a little bit of like it's kind of somewhat part of my lore on right, this right, rush, right, 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 but right. like I was bullied very hard throughout middle school, like mostly through email. Oh wow! How how did that happen? People would send you emails that were digs at you. Yeah, like that this, sucks. and it wasn't even like from a fake email. That's how it was back then. Oh like my you would God. just email mean things, and like obviously MySpace and yeah. things like that. But I didn't really have MySpace. So you'd get an email from like someone in your class saying like, "What you looked ugly today in fourth period." They loved accusing me of stuffing my bra. <gasps> like really loved calling me bra stuffer. Did you stuff your bra? Yes, but like, but what's like the big that doesn't deal? warrant an email. Wow. <laughs> and they, I think the girls, because like I legitimately, my boobs started growing in middle school, and they good for you. Mine didn't. <laughs> this girl was so pissed that I came to school in a bra one day. Like she was so mad. I think it's because I got one before her. Like she definitely had boobs, but I think her mom was only giving her like the training bra right, rather right, right, than right, right. my mom got me real ones. Like sorry, yeah, about sorry. It. You just have a mom who's more into the classics style of a bra than exactly. her mom is yeah. and they were, it was like a triple a which when you're an a cup that's like even smaller yeah than yeah. a w a or an a like the like basically just a triangle of fabric that's like t- like i was so little <laughs> she was pissed and like called me a bra stuffer i think she maybe even maybe even she saw that i was stuffing my bra but like she wouldn't let it go did she, it get spread around the school uh, definitely around the girls. I don't know if the guys knew, but that's so. And so you'd get emails being like, "Hey, bra stuffer, you stuff your bra." Like, yeah. This is my email. I'm not hiding my email. Y- Stop it. 
She's this fly, fly is, is bullying, bullying you. you. Oh, uh, if you're listening to this podcast at home and not watching it, a, a fly has been bullying, fl- bullying Olivia yeah. this whole episode. <laughs> yeah, it was it was tough. It's definitely like they would email and be like, "You're a skinny bitch, bra stuffing <laughs> slut." Oh, and it was shit. like they just they just try and string together just every curse word to, right. tr- to sound like they know like that they're being like you know because at that age you know so many limited curse words yeah. that you just have to push them all together and, and absolutely make what you can. Yeah. And yeah, it's a good comeback. I, I remember one time I had a friend in uh, middle school who didn't like this one teacher that I loved, but she was so mad and we, she was like, he's just, he's just a bastard. <laughs> and I will like Whoa. never forget that because I was like, oh, I can think of a thousand words worse than that. But like, she was just very sweet and like couldn't think of a oh worse word than bastard. And she like whispered it. Wow. It was very funny. That I knew a girl like that, but she would be like, someone just put him to sleep <laughs> someone like, should put him to sleep yeah oh that's awesome yeah she's like i don't know any bad words so i'm just gonna pitch euthanasia <laughs> I, I love that because that's a, an awesome use for euthanasia like yeah. yes if somebody is like being mean to you makes you run the mile mm-hmm. when you don't want to euthanasia <laughs> was your was your bully also your gym coach yeah no <laughs> oh my god no Teacher but I, bullies. I was just thinking that like you know in middle school the people i hated were yeah. people who made me run the mile yeah. and then my middle school bully who was like a disney channel middle yeah you bully. have like an enemy you had like a like a disney channel like level nemesis? enemy i had like a disney channel level enemy yeah her name was uh, let's just beep it yeah her name was okay she uh she put a thumbtack on my chair and i sat on it she shoved a door in my face God. she threw me into a trash can How, was she super strong i guess so <laughs> or maybe i was very weak well you were very small well, you are very small but you were a small Thank small you. child and so I get that maybe a a, reg, a regular perhaps size, size child could yeah. pick you up. There oh was one day that I, she uh, hit hit a door in my friend's face, and I was so upset that I had gum in my mouth and I threw it in her hair, and it nice. lasted in her hair the whole day. And her friends saw it and didn't say anything because she wasn't very nice to them either. Whoa! Yeah. And you Saga. know what? You know what? I'm gonna get deep for a second, but I bet you she wasn't very nice to herself. And I'm sure now she <laughs> probably is a nice. Yeah, I'm person. sure everyone. No, that's the crazy thing is like you grow out of that the amount of garbage yeah. you can do or have done to you and then that person grows up and they're like oh my god no I would never do that as yeah. an adult yes but yes. that's I think why the internet's so bad is because like when people bully the most I feel like it's when they're in middle school right yeah and it's the worst time yeah. the hormones and yeah and nothing good is, is there and then like so people bully the most when they're in middle school but now all middle schoolers have access to the internet and anytime oh, I read it so exactly and anytime I read a comment, I never picture it coming from a child. I right. always picture it coming from like a, a serious adult. <laughs> but most likely a lot of people who internet bully are also probably children. I, and, yeah. and and that is why you yeah. get hate comments on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Courtney, do people bully you in the comments at Smosh? Wow, that is like something I usually forget about. But yes. <laughs> Thanks I, for sorry. bringing it up. <laughs> sorry. I, I know it's that's such a good point. I am bullied online. What's the dumbest bullying you've seen online? Josh from Mythical Kitchen. He and I did a mm. video together recently, and like there was just so many people being like, "She is horrifically unfunny." And I was like, <gasps> "I don't think I was trying to be funny. I was just having a good time making sloppy joes." Like, I'm sorry. Wait, yeah, you weren't you weren't oh even my tra- you were just making that's so also weird. and it's very strange how offended they were. Yeah, yeah that they yeah. had to like say something. horrifically unfunny. Horrifically Are you okay? Unfunny. Yeah. Oh my. Like, why did you take the time yeah you could always just stop watching yeah if you don't it's, it. it's absolutely crazy. your choice <laughs> yeah um now here's the thing about bullying yeah uh, people should never be bullied right no, no one should absolutely. ever be bullied um but some items should be right some things that are not people should totally be bullied and yeah. they deserve to be taken down a notch so olivia and i created a segment called bully, bully this bitch, bitch. Yeah. So for Bully This Bitch, we're going to take out any aggression we might have uh, towards inanimate objects that cannot feel. Um, so d- who wants to go first? Go, go, go great. Uh, well, okay. Um, all right. One of the things I have here to bully is antiques, just like the concept of antiques. Go ahead, bully in an antique. <laughs> um, they're just way too expensive uh, thrift store items. Yes. Um, and once again, being old is not good in any other space. Oh. So I think they're liars. Snaps for bullying antiques. Yeah. For some like, reason, they're, they're, they, they smell more, bad, but it's forgiven. They, they smell bad, but they're more expensive. Yeah. That's not cool. Courtney, something you want to bully today? Um, I mentioned to you guys, I want to bully Dodge 
chargers. Okay. I feel like they just bring bad news. I feel like whoever drives them, it's yeah. just, I've, from my experience, it's just a, a bad time. I've been cut off by so many. Uh-huh. They need to, like, check their ego. Yeah, yeah, check absolutely. Their ego. W- what should they replace the car with? Um, they should get a Fiat, like nice. me, because... I if, think I if think you that drive a sense. Fiat, you are a crazy bitch, and I respect you. Oh, okay, you yeah. So okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Um, I would like to bully low rise jeans. Oh, mm. thank you, thank you so much. Low rise jeans. You were made to slide down, and so sh- sh- one more time. <laughs> low rise jeans. You were made to slide down and show some butt crack. And it's appropriating plumber culture. <gasps> That's really oh. true. So yeah. you took an, a specific angle yeah. to bullying there. Yeah. How fucking dare you yeah. make hot girls like plumber core? Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous, stupid, absolutely fuck you. Yeah, that was great bullying. Thank that you. was beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, this is a really simple one. This is super straight up. Yeah. Um, this is, I'm bullying now the war on drugs. Oh, um, and what yes. I have to say is, ha ha, you lost. True. That's so true. I <laughs> wish middle moves. school bullies would have like people to snap behind yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, no, I don't because then they do it more. <laughs> mm, yeah, <laughs> never mind. Validated. <laughs> um, kitten heels. Okay. Oh. Choose. Do you want to be <laughs> on the ground or not? Or just have a thicker sole of the shoe? It's just confusing. Yeah, I will say like, it's also just such a polarizing thing. There are some people who are really against it and really for it, and that's too much for it's me. It's dividing yeah. our country. Like, and if you walk over a drain, you're going to fall in the will. drain. You go, ah! Yeah. And it's just such a quick fall. Yeah. It's not even... It's not even like a real heels fall. No, no. It's, yeah. not, it's not good. It's not worth it. You need <laughs> drama or not. That's true. Oh, yeah, I like that. I would like to bully chickens. Also, if you're listening and not watching, um, my earrings are chickens right now. Yeah. Oh. I also had five chickens that I bought when I was in middle school. You did. Very fun. And um, rest in peace to those chickens. Rest in peace to all five. I'm about to bully they, them. I didn't eat them. I'm just going to like absolutely Oh, yeah, no, no. Libby did not that. eat They them. died of natural causes, and now Sid is going to bully the concept of chickens and go. Yeah, nice. not not the corpses of Olivia's No, not chickens. the corpses of Just my... the concept. Yeah. <clears throat> chickens. <laughs> You're telling me these motherfuckers evolved from dinosaurs only to to millions of years later evolve into dino nuggets? Pathetic, useless, (laughs) disappointing. Damn. That's That's really good. Disappointing. That's, yeah, no, absolutely. They used to be so big and important and now they're so small and unimportant. I won. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Um... I had a terrible day the other day, and you know what I want to bully is the pharmaceutical industry. <gasps> oh, I no. had to drive around all over LA just to get a freaking refill on birth control. Oh my oh, god! Stupid. I felt like that was like not to get. I felt very oppressed. I felt oppressed. I, I was like, "This is fucking stupid." I cannot tell you how much I would be actively bullying the American healthcare system if it was my classmate and oh my gosh oh, oh my yeah. gosh wedgies I hate that bitch. up through the ceiling I hate that bitch I cannot she's tell so, you she's so she's like fickle mm-hmm. maybe it's not even a she because I've never met a woman who that is horrific fickle <laughs> <laughs> I've never met <laughs> I would literally swirly the fuck out of Kaiser oh my god day. yeah just, just drown them L- yeah. literally our our last actually last week both Olivia and I yeah. couldn't get the same medication we're on yeah because from different people too from different health insurance companies because both of them were like mm, sorry I don't know <laughs> I actually know somebody else who had this similar yeah. shit it's insane it's crazy yeah. and it's like it happens so often like it happens like every time I need a refill and it's like yeah, fuck what? you. Fuck you, health yeah. insurance. Fuck you, American healthcare system. This isn't even really a, a, a bullying, like a clever bully phrase as That's much okay. as it is just like I'm exposing someone. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm choosing the Monopoly man. <gasps> and I am going to be bullying you for the fact that your real Christian name is Rich Uncle Pennybags. Oh. And what I, the fuck? I think that's sort of like a like a pussy name. You have uncle in your name? Yeah, that's their middle name. Uh, Rich is their first name, uncle, and then Pennybags. And Rich is short for Richard, which also has the nickname Dick. Dick, Dick Uncle Pennybags. Pennybags sounds like the worst. Yeah, exactly. So... Uh, cancel Monopoly. Just so cancel, cancel it. Cancel that. Cancel him. <laughs> Sorry, I just had an aneurysm. <laughs> okay. I'd like to bully the Wells Fargo app. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wells Fargo app. Yeah. What the 
fuck is wrong with you? Why does your facial recognition feature not recognize me when I'm smiling? <gasps> They're not used to people smiling when it comes to money. I, I, I smile, don't I, Olivia? You know me, I smile. I love, I love that you're, yeah, like it doesn't recognize you when do you smile. It. No. I can do it. I can smile and I have done it. Yeah, I can try not to smile. It's, I can do that. It's just so, it's so shitty. And it's such mixed messages from men on the street always being like, huh, come on, baby, why don't you smile? And yeah. then my Wells Fargo app being like, do like, not smile. <laughs> Well, it depends. Do you want attention from terrifying men on the street or do you want to log into your Wells Fargo app? Ugh, you have a point there. So you should never smile. No, no, no don't smile. I'm also pissed face, rec- face ID doesn't recognize me when I'm eating. Oh. Like, fuck you. No, yeah. I want to keep chewing. Is yeah. face ID saying women shouldn't eat? Okay, guys, let's bully face ID. Face ID is canceled. Saying women shouldn't eat. Let me, let me eat. Face ID, trying Damn. to get people eating disorders. You heard it um, here first. Uh... Well, we have we have a segment we love to do on this show. We do. Um, called We Have No. Um, yeah, we do. We here's the thing about bullying. We've I think we've all decided, right? Yeah. Is that so much bullying starts in middle school? Right. Yes. Yeah. And middle school, if it were like improved a bit, yeah, perhaps, yeah, there would not be so much bullying. Yeah. Do you yeah. think so? That's yeah, true? I uh, think so. I think so. I think I think there's a lot of improvements that could be made that would just make people bully each other less. Yeah, we because we tend to turn on each other. Oh, uh, when, when we're in when a bad you're, environment. Exactly. When you're in a group and you're put in a bad environment, you don't go like, "Who's putting me in this?" You go like, "I'm going to turn on the people who are also being put in a bad environment." It's basically Squid Game. It's Squid Game. It's, it's Squid, Squid Game. So if you rewrote the rules of Squid Game, would people kill each other less in the Squid Game? Probably. Possibly. Perhaps. Perhaps. So. Uh, here are our notes on, on middle, middle school. school. Oh, yeah, okay. Here's my note on middle school. Cancel gym class. It teaches kids to dread exercising and forcing a hormonal child to run and sweat and then send them back to class without a shower is setting them up to be bullied. Oh, so Hands true, down. bestie. Like, how, why would you do that to someone? Mm. Um, so that's one note I have. Because, cause, yeah, I know like it's good to get kids to exercise, but as a kid who was like pushed way too heavily into exercising and now I hate it all the time, even though I still do it, I dread it all yeah, the time. Yeah, but now like, you don't have a positive I hate it, it, it because I always knew it as the thing people were forcing me to do. Ugh. Bada boom, bada bing, cancel gym class. Cancel gym class. Also, there I had a middle school that offered showers, but like they had no stall doors. So it's like, <gasps> oh yeah, how is that? Let's have these little middle school. And like when you peek into the door locker room, it's a straight shot to the showers, and like nobody ever used them. Never, never. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, no. That's yeah. A, that's like absolutely that not. That is it. literally setting everyone up yeah. to accidentally see kids Delete be it. naked. Yeah. That sucks. Delete yeah. It. Yeah. Like what am I gonna do? Bring a swimsuit? No. Then add an extra step of getting, getting yeah, and, out of and it. And bring and your out of it. wet swimsuit to class. Yeah. Like, in a bag. Yeah, or have like, it be mildewy in your gym yeah, locker. Absolutely. There's no like just don't put kids through that. Asshole design. Yeah, I I bullied the asshole who designed that. <laughs> Okay, Courtney, do you have a note? Yes. Um, school dances. Something's weird about chaperones watching kids get freaky. <laughs> like, you know, like they get like they are like dancing like, so yeah. hard. And then there's just these tall adults like looking around, like making sure that they're like good. Oh yeah. man, but they're but we know they're not. We know they're like grinding. Yeah. So it's like what you you're here to watch it. I'd also yeah. like to add that, you know, the thing they say is leave room for for Jesus. Jesus. I don't know that we put an adult in between those two kids those grinding. Two grinding. Yeah, no kids, thank you. No. Let's not let them grind on Jesus. Yeah. What did he do to you guys? <laughs> why did why are you forcing no. him to get grounded on? Don't bring Jesus into this. Yeah, don't bring him into your the, yeah. No, yeah, no. my first freak dancing, that's what we called it. Or uh, I don't know if I called it that cuz my older siblings thing, but freak dancing, my first experience was butt to butt. And it was an accident at first. And then it got real. <laughs> wait, wait. How was it an accident? You backed into each other? Yeah. Out? We were like, whoa, whoa. And I was like, oh, I know who that is. Whoa. Was and it? like kept dancing. Oh and we were God. like, whoa. <laughs> and then you guys were both just like. Just kept going. And wow. we never changed. Did an adult situation. stare at you the whole time? No. I Was it at a bat mitzvah? No, I wish I got more action at Bat Mitzvah. That was my dream. Yeah, that was always the place. Like, for oh, us. I'm gonna drink as many Shirley Temples as I can and make out with a boy. Like, yeah. that was my dream. Yeah. yeah. Olivia, did you freak dance when, as a child? Uh, no, I didn't uh, even even touch anyone. Like, I didn't hold hands with a boy until I was graduated from high school. Yeah. So I had no freak dancing. Although me and my friend group would like 
do we'd make up our own dances in school dances Fun. and a lot of them would be like like funny dances that were kind of centered around us ending our own lives oh. and <laughs> we thought it was like amazing because we were all like oh kill me I hate I hate school oh, you guys are so pen 15 dances. it's crazy. yeah but then uh, teachers would be like you know they'd be looking at someone freak dancing and then they'd look over at like all these kids pr- like with you know just pretending to light themselves on fire with kerosene and matches and stuff and like making it into a dance and that's a specific dance yeah, yeah it, it was it was we it was a whole there's whole steps to it but yeah they'd be like can you guys absolutely fucking not do that and that was the origin of the tiktok dance uh yeah that moment yeah it's absolutely. like trial but tr- trial by trolley but yeah group of kids freak dancing group of kids p- playing yeah KYS. it's like which one are you gonna tell to not and it, i choice. guess it was me i was the choice i yeah. was the chosen you were the, you were the chosen <laughs> i was chosen nice. to ask to be asked to leave <laughs> that's horrifying i was asked to leave a couple school dances were you yeah one time my friend swung me around like a like you know, awesome like crazy way and it was it, it was crazy you're fun. swing dancing but, like yeah like swung me around like off the ground my feet were off the that's ground awesome. and the woman was like you do that one more time you get the fuck out of here it's definitely like, dangerous it was dangerous i should have been asked to leave that time that that made sense always good mm-hmm uh, I have a note for middle school. Yeah. Uh, no job interviewer will ever ask me how quickly I ran the mile. Yeah. So true. Yeah. It's not necessary. It's yeah. not something we need to do. We don't yeah. need to time it. Unless you're um, interviewing to be a professional mile runner. Yeah. Or literally a for PE speed. coach, probably. Yeah. Then it's just the vis- vicious I, circle of life at that point. I just feel like if you're even a PE coach, like there's so many out of shape PE coaches who could never run a 10 minute mile. For me, that's a slow the mile. PE coaches were either atrocious or the hottest. Yes. There yes. Was, there was I'm no in between. My friend's new husband, my friend Hallie just got married. Shout out her, to Hallie uh, and Jason. Uh, shout out to Hallie and Jason. Her new husband, Jason, is a PE coach that all of the young girls have crushes on. Also, people have different leg lengths. So the mile time that's true. and the fact that people get more points yep. simply because they can run better than me. That's true. Not like that. Okay, here's a really overall note about middle school. If we all have the same bad experience somewhere, why don't we fix that? That's a good Like, point. I feel like every single person has had a bad middle school experience. If you haven't, congratulations. I'm absolutely loving that for you. But... Um, why don't we like make it better or perhaps get rid of those years change anything yeah why don't we all <laughs> homeschool for yeah, those we'll, or put the time toward yeah. yeah like what if that's just like self discovery we could lengthen elementary school by a, a, a couple grades yeah. lengthen high school by a couple grades and then no one has to have this weird yes. three year transitioning period where you're like absolutely I, ruining I your life I actually love it because it's like there's just something about like the jump from mm-hmm. elementary school to middle school that is just like I'm basically super cool now like it's yeah. just like it changes it changes everything yeah yeah absolutely that's such a good idea you should do yeah. that okay well I'm yeah, gonna you should do I'm that. gonna focus on doing that over the next couple of years Great. all right thank you guys Courtney you got any notes left? yes um dissecting things mm. dissecting classes I had, I had some of my first in middle school can that be optional because Ooh. yeah that should be optional always oh my god it's just like the formaldehyde smells so bad and I just don't need to like and what if what if my family weighs me me like vegan or something yeah like i don't want to i don't want to touch and be inside some body some that i don't ass body what, what what did you dissect it was frogs mm-hmm. I owl pellets i we done owl that pellets. Classic. let's literally pick through some shit yeah I mean, it's, it's not really shit but it's shit but it's like regurgitated mouse bone yeah but isn't uh, that crazy how owls don't poop they simply do not they don't at all that's no that's clean they, oh. they regurgitate a pellet oh instead so they don't have an anus i don't know well we're I'm gonna pretty look this sure up later. They, some birds and i thought it mm-hmm. was owls mm-hmm. poop and pee at the same time in one glob yeah uh if you are watching an this owl. Or, or or an owl right now you can absolutely leave in the comments whether yeah, or pigeons not, hit us up yeah whether or not you believe owls have rectums yeah if you're an owl comment below if you have a rectum yeah uh, I have a note. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't make middle schoolers change in front of each other <laughs> for gym. We don't yeah. need to know that, that, which that, of our classmates have developed yet. And uh, let me tell you, there's no good option. No. There's no good option. If you develop early, you're screwed. If you develop late, you're screwed. Yep. There is no good option. There's no good time. 
There's um, no good time. I, I got I got boobs in fourth grade, and let me tell you, it absolutely sucked. It was the worst thing in the world. I had a friend like that. World. It was just people were like, oh, that means you're fat, and now we'll hold your arms back and count your stomach rolls. And I was Wild. like... Or you're just, like, treated, yeah. like, so much older. That, like, you're... Like, it's so weird. Yeah, yeah. It's... it's it's It was never... I always wished that I did mm-hmm. not get boobs. Um, but you know what? I'm waiting for mine to come in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Courtney, when did you get boobs? Um, They really decided to show up like toward the like maybe like junior senior year like yeah. before that they were very small I was trying to wear padded everything I wanted I wanted bazookas like I really yeah. and now I'm like I want to be one of those small titty bitches like yeah. do you want to trade yeah I would love to please yeah. do yeah. uh yeah and freaking changing in gym class is what started my entire bullying I'm sure that sounds story. like yeah yeah <laughs> I still think about it and I like still followed that girl the girl that until we, like recently that that bullied, that bullied me throughout all of middle school and through the start of high school. Oh my god! You and still follow her? I unfollowed her recently, like oh upon self reflection. Yeah, we uh, don't yeah, need that's, it. Maybe that's better. Yeah. 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 Whatever. We don't need it. Like she, we followed each other. Yeah. That's so it's nice. like okay, at least she knows I'm like thriving. Yeah. Everyone's, right. I, you know, her following you is probably a a nice gesture on her part, kind of being like, oh, sorry, yeah. I acknowledge you're a person. Yeah. Because she's still human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just yeah. was like, ah, we don't talk. Yeah, no, but you, there, there's no real reason you should follow each other. No. no. Yeah. Libby, you got another note? Yeah, um, this is a, a really good one. Uh, this is a note for middle school. Take all the energy you put into dress coding kids and put it towards stopping global warming. Yes. That is a pitch from me. How about... Always strange when adults decide they need to care a lot about what children wear. Yeah, and like... I've never seen a kid get dress coded for something that was legitimately bad. No. It's crazy. Like, no. the, Like, I remember you have to have, like, a two-inch, like... See, that shit was weird when they have specific your, yeah, things like that. Yeah, and, like, that. you had to have your skirt be two inches below your fingertips at the bottom of your legs. And it's, like, everyone has different length arms. Yeah. And legs. Yes. And, and also, like stop global warming instead yeah. that's so much energy yeah imagine yeah that. imagine if you put that energy toward Towards that my just, goodness yeah absolutely so that would be my note yeah, yeah that's pretty good um i would like to i'm i have a note i i'm just upset about this yeah. Te- teachers cussing at the kids to be taken more seriously <laughs> oh like when God. they drop like an f-bomb and everyone's like <gasps> and it's like that's just what they do to make sure you Wait, feel intimidated what? oh they my do that? God. Oh my god, I experienced that so many times. And I feel like, like I probably experienced that, but I don't remember. I don't know. Just That's throwing so damn it or shit um, into yeah. it. In like in a lesson or what? No, just like if they're like, lecturing the this class. Is, this is how you divide, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I would have learned to have it so much better. That's um, what I thought you meant. But no, like listen up, damn it. You guys never listen to me. You always talk over yeah, the division like lesson. Oh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I, that I was my have impersonation of a math teacher. Do that. Them being like, I'm tired of this shit. And everyone's like, oh. They really are. Yeah, let's cut that. Let's absolutely oh, cut yeah, that. Oh, yeah, that should have never been allowed. Yeah, I think there's a lot of, I mean, love teachers, but there's also a lot of people who have, like, tenure who shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, This is, like, something that I feel like spans across all middle school yeah. uh, experiences, experiences, which is why is drawing the pointy super S a uh-huh. rite of passage in middle school. If you don't know what I'm talking about, yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> yeah. It's the S you draw. It's like, I did it, and it looks really good. Yeah, that um, looks like the best one I've ever seen. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> I really am... I was like, maybe she's mad because she doesn't know how to actually draw. No, wait, how do you do it? That's not how you do it? Do you want to give us a lesson? Here, open, open to a page. Let's do a lesson. I was taught. Here, I can use the back of my teacher's cussing. So you draw... I'm so sorry that I bullied you about how you No, it's yes. okay. This no, is the I'm bullying episode. No, I'm just so it's upset important. because I thought it was a rite of passage and now I'm realizing, no, it's not because I guess I don't know how to. <laughs> you never went to middle school. I guess not. So this is how I was taught. Okay. It's one, two, you draw three lines oh. and then three lines. Right. I knew there was a way, you, but I didn't know what it was. Yeah, and then you, here, I think mine's going to come upside down to you guys, but you, okay. then you connect and then you do that and that and then you do the points and then you do the points. Oh, beautiful. That's not what mine looks like That's at all. That's beautiful. No. Just a couple steps. I think that looks more like an eight. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of it. Uh, yeah. Wow. All right. Well, you learn something new yeah, every day. Exactly. Okay. Um, rescind my note. <laughs> but also maybe it's like house rules, you know, where it's like it's different in different areas. Right, right, so right, right. Maybe I just bullied you. And it's yeah. okay. I don't know how. Yeah. The thing about it is like, realistically, I feel like looking back at 
any of the people who I was like, oh, this person's bullying me. I'm like, oh yeah, they were all probably just like absolutely going through something. Mm -hmm. And that's like a nice thing to remember. Not because you should forgive anyone who ever does anything wrong to you. I'm Italian and Irish. I, it's very hard for me to forgive people. But uh, when you're like, oh wait, it wasn't because they're evil. It was because like their friend was sick or like they were going through something with their parents. Or they're raised by a narcissist. Things like that that are beyond their control. And I, 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 I did a bullying thing once which, really? and I was I'm so ashamed of it. Yeah, yes. absolutely. But he yeah, absolutely got me. He got me back when I, I, when I was, oh gosh, I must've been in second grade or something. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> there was a boy who, okay. So first off I was in like a group of like, I don't know. I guess I was in like a semi-popular group in elementary school. Wow. Humble brag. I, well, no, I wasn't cool. Uh, that where it's like you're difference. the, the bottom the, feeder of it, the group I was Same. everyone's sub yeah, like I yeah, was the I bitch was too. Uh, it's like it's an important rite of passage yeah. to be like the bitch like everyone's everyone's sub bitch in a popular yeah. group um but yeah I uh everyone in that group including myself there was this one guy who you know kids weird each other out and then you go that kid's weird he weirded me out so I'm gonna say he's the weird kid like if he would like touch one of us, we'd be like, oh no, ew, and like wipe it on another person. Very mean. But there's a, a silver lining. Why was he touching you? Yeah, that that is another thing. Yeah, he, also- he kind of was a little bit like um, bound boundary list towards girls sometimes oh, there was always those he, would be, he would say things about his mom's boobs there were but he was going through everyone's <sighs> going through something yeah but he i was in i was like in the main office like being either picked up early by my mom or something like that my mom was there i was there and he came in and he was like oh my god hey how are you he's like oh hey how are you and in front of my mom he goes like hey i was just wondering um why do you always uh say you and and like wipe your like he called me on it in front of my mom he was like why do you do that whenever I I'm Whoa. like and I like froze up and I was like oh I guess I thought there was a bug on you or something <gasps> like I fucking panicked oh, no. and I was so embarrassed I was so ashamed but if he hadn't done that who knew maybe I would have continued to do similar like I would have jumped on the bully train later on in life and I like literally that stopped me cold and I was like gotcha I've learned my lesson like in the back of my head I was like I will never sometimes that's all it takes is one moment of like awareness realizing yeah Yeah. and and so like I fucking thank him for that and then he sexually harassed me a lot when I was in middle school so it kind of evens out yeah I I don't even I don't even know if it evens out it evens out we're both great um i hope he's doing well (laughs) courtney you were a bully at some point too i was so i feel so bad like to this day i like i'll say her name we can bleep it out if you're watching this i am so sorry and i hope you're thriving so she was this there was this girl who was like i don't know if you guys had people like this in your school where like she wanted to be a Disney actress so bad where like she wore like the fedora and the vest. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. she's a very passionate child. Yeah. Passionate about her Disney stardom. Yes, and she would like sing Fergie all the time. And like when I first met her, like she, I was just like cool being her friend. And like for some reason, she just like was in a movie always. <laughs> like where, she, where like she was like, can I walk to class with you? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, I'm walking to class with a popular girl. And like, oh, and those things. And I was like, oh no, like, ah. <laughs> oh. And so I, I think I would do things to like make her feel weird. Like, you know, and like there was this game in middle school where if you caught eye contact with someone you didn't like and then rolled your eyes and looked away, like you win. And so that would be a competition if <gasps> you, you like caught, oh my, just you like win the you game. win superiority. Oh my God. Dominance. And like, well, so, no so point that. if you, if, I, if like I was looking at, I'd just look like roll my eyes. That's like, so funny. And then I'd know like, oh no, I lost the game. <gasps> yeah. Like, oh no, you're the, you're the I, little bitch Oh, now. I'm the little like, bitch now. And I feel Shit. so bad because it's like, she just knew who she was, right? Yeah, yeah. But like, she was cringe to everyone else. Yeah. Like, everyone was so mean to her. I, I get that from both ends. Like, right. there's always like, I was very, I think I still am very cringe. But it's like, I have to understand when other people are like, you're the weird kid, fuck you. Because I'm like, <laughs> I understand. I understand that's a natural, uh, like a, a natural pack instinct. Right. But also, um, yeah, no, it's just, it just, being on both sides makes you kind of just go like, okay, cool, yeah. I really love that she was channeling Disney Channel stardom. 
like yeah. so hard. And like doing the like Hannah Montana like yeah. fedora with scarf with a vest. And like yes. that, that's very fun. I, I, I yeah, I hope she's absolutely killing it. Yeah, because like looking back, it's like that's iconic. Like if you yeah. have photos of that, amazing. Yeah. Like I I was so bland in my fashion. Most of it was hand me downs, but it was like grew growing up Mormon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was basic, basic in every form. And like, you know. I, I I hope she looks back on those days and doesn't feel the pain, but remembers how awesome she looked yeah, and everything. Yeah, I right. love that. Like, she can do side-by-side photos with Hannah Montana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can't Absolutely. do that. No. I can't do that. No, I, I can't didn't do have it. that. No, I can't do it. Uh, I used to bully a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's hell yeah. Awesome. Yeah, when I was in middle school, there was a teacher who was nothing but nice to me. <laughs> uh, he was like a, a coach, and because he was nice to me and kind of I thought we were like buddies, I was like, oh, I'm going to fucking rip the shit out of this dude. <laughs> I was just like a small, like skinny child with like no boobs, nothing. Like I was skinny, small. Like I looked like I was four. And I was like going up to this older man and being like, ha ha, you're fucking old. What are you even doing here, coach? Ha ha. Oh my god! And he would just be like, "Ha ha, yeah, Sid, okay, ha ha." Oh my god! And, and I and I like would I would like hug him, and he hated it because he, he didn't. That's not allowed. And like that's he would so talk funny. about like it's not allowed for like kids to touch their teachers and vice versa. Oh my god! And I was like, oh, let's see if I can do it again." Like, <laughs> I was such a bitch, and like I used to like sit him down and make me make him watch videos I made of characters. Like it's not. Oh okay. my god, that's so. Well, funny. I don't know if that's bullying. It sounds like you wanted him to be your best. It friend. sounded like like. That classic young child harassing a teacher that they get along with, which yes. I think everyone needs to do. At I had. Times one of I their think lives. it felt like bullying. I think I nuggied him a couple times because yeah. he was kind of wow. short. Like I was, I was pretty much going for it, and everyone was like, "No, don't do That's that." That's so funny. And he was like, "Don't do that." Like I don't think yeah. he was on my side. Yeah. <laughs> once, once a girl bullied me without knowing that she was bullying me. Oh, who? Um, she was a Christian scientist girl that I. So you're w- a Scientologist. Uh, Christian yeah. Scientologist. Yeah. Is like she was in we were in elementary school together and she would tie me up with jump ropes and she didn't know that she was didn't bullying. know it was bullying she's just kind of she just kind of didn't get it she would tie me up with jump ropes and I at that point was a people pleaser so I was like I guess and so she would tie me up with jump ropes and the, the teacher would be like don't tie Olivia up with the jump ropes like and she'd be like, I'm playing the game, though, of Ty Olivia up with the Oh, jump ropes. my God. And then later on, she said, unprompted, you're one of my best friends in the world. I would never, like, ever, ever kill you. Well, okay. that's good to know. So well, it was great so, to know. That's so funny, because now you say, like, I will kill... Like, yeah, I'll kill your enemies. I'm always like, yeah. I'll kill your enemies type that's of person. So yeah, funny. She was the first person who ever threatened not to kill me. And then... Um, and then she would try to stop me from going uh, to the nurse when I was hurt because she said I could pray the wound away. And wow. that was when I kind of was like, all right, I'm going to start fucking with you back. Well, uh, <laughs> uh, to be fair, did you ever try praying the wound away? Well, I, I would ask her. She would be like, Jesus is in your heart. And I would be like, how does an adult man fit inside my heart? Wouldn't I be dead? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I was... <laughs> so maybe you guys believe each other. I, I definitely, at the end, I mean, during at least the time when she tried to stop me from going to the nurse I definitely like bit back a little bit because I was just like this is might as well have some humor in this you had some back <laughs> wow. and forth yeah we had a, a nice back and forth Courtney you have like a fuck ton of siblings now yes how many do you have I have six siblings that's a lot of wow. siblings so yeah. seven kids all together seven kids together I was number five out of seven okay, okay. Was so there a, on the younger end was there a bullying hierarchy oh my who god who? it is it is like a passing the torch like <laughs> oh shit once you get like old Malcolm enough in the middle <laughs> you, yeah literally once you get old enough you move on to your own life and then that but the, it totally cascades oh down oh my god oh I feel so bad like I used to make my little brothers do things and, like like jump over that rock and they'd be like <laughs> no and I'd be like if you don't then you're not Superman <laughs> and they would be like fair oh, fine and I would just uh, I, like I cr- uh. I wish that's how people got me to do I things guess <laughs> I guess fair if you don't you're not Superman I mean that's I pretty it. fair at least you were giving them the option to be Superman one of the craziest moments where I was bullied by my sibling was my mom lived in an apartment with like a patio on the first floor where like the gate was low my sister pushed me into one of those tall laundry baskets like butt first so like it was just my legs sticking out and I couldn't move but she put a blanket over me and left me on the patio <laughs> oh for like a God. long time and I was just like screaming and hearing people walk by oh my God. <laughs> and it was, 
Like, I look back, it's really funny now. But it's no, like, but that must have been horrible. Like, yeah. I feel like I have a lot of little moments like that yeah. where, like, as soon as I tell the story out loud, I'm like, oh, that's trauma, oh, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But that's how funny people get funny. It's yes. Like, it, you, you, you know, some people get traumatized and they don't ever find it funny, and that's absolutely valid as well. But if you are a person who has tried to be a, a comedy related person in any way shape or form that's yes. ha- how you get your sense of humor is by laughing at bad things that happen to you and I think so often after something bad happens years later you realize ooh, that wasn't good yeah like, like in yeah. high school like Olivia and I went to high school together Courtney actually went to the high school next to our high school yeah. Yeah. yeah um and in high school like it would be a thing of like oh my god the thing we do like our joke is we steal each other's cars like, yeah, you guys used to steal each other's cars. We would steal each other's cars. We had a friend who would like put your put car, your car in, in, reverse in reverse on the freeway. On the freeway. Yeah. And that was like our bit. Yeah. And then years later, you go like, oh, that's bad. <laughs> it's, like, wow. Really bad. Well, You're alive? Yeah, that's, I'm alive. Yeah, that's like not a bit at uh, all. No. It's no. not bullying either. I don't no, know. I don't know what it is. You had a friend who tied up another friend and left. Yeah. <laughs> like, we were we were doing flyering. You know how you like put, put flyers up for like your show that you're in? Yeah. I had a friend, Tyler. Sorry, I just totally outed you, Tyler. <laughs> um, we had to uh, put up flyers for a school play we were all in, and he took the masking tape <laughs> that he was going to use to hang up flyers, caught our friend Stephanie, <gasps> like wrapped her up in masking tape, blindfolded her oh. with her with it, and like <gasps> tied her up. She was on the ground, and he's just cracking up, and he left. He did. And now we have this video forever of her in high school being like, Tyler, just alone, <laughs> covered, oh my God. covered in masking tape, being like, Tyler, you think it's funny and you're going to pretend you're not here anymore, but like seriously, that's exactly what oh, she says. Oh no. And I still have the video and I, we used to think it was the funniest thing in the world and now I look at it and I go, oh my God, that's a child. Oh <laughs> It's no. like a child covered in masking tape. Oh, so Yeah, that sounds painful that it was like up on her hair and stuff. It was over her, her stuff. eyes. Was it over her hair? Yes. Pass. Pass. Yeah. Pass. Tyler. Tyler, what are you doing? Wow. I mean, he would never do it now. Now he's an adult man. <laughs> But, like, at the time when you're a kid, you're like, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> um, listen. Yeah. Here's the thing about bullying. Yeah. We're not going to do it. No. And look. Ever if you're, again. If you're going through something and you have a bunch of anger and you are feeling the instinct to take it out on other people, there's – just give yourself a second. Think it through. Take a deep breath. Do something creative instead. Hate an inanimate object. Hate something that doesn't have feelings. Get all your feelings out, and then treat people nice because um, you never know what someone's going through. And if someone bullies you, uh, I'm sorry. I just just torch yeah. their fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> put it in reverse on the freeway. Yeah, put their car in their reverse. Their car no, don't reverse. do that. Uh, <laughs> you heard it here first from Courtney Miller. <laughs> yeah, you can quote me on that. I feel like people who like have to feel like hate toward other people I saw this the other day where it's people are, are gonna hate you mm. but it's probably because they don't understand you or they don't understand themselves yeah that's, that's really good that's yeah. really good yeah yeah and I think like any sort of cyber bullying or yeah. online bullying or writing a hate comment yeah just turn your camera let's your, off turn, our turn your camera out. off turn your computer off turn your phone off just throw turn your off. phone in the garbage and let's all run away. Yeah. Go listen to Fiona <laughs> Apple on your iPod Nano. Yeah. Just like I did when yeah, I was abs- upset. Go okay? S- go scooter around the neighborhood and pretend you're running away like I used to do. <laughs> go take your silly bands and hide them around in the plants in your mom's house like I used to do. <laughs> um, and anyway, that's our episode about bullying in middle school. Um, Courtney, do you have anything you want to pitch? Anything you want to promote? Anything at all? I'm going to pitch us hanging out. Okay. Oh, I, I love absolutely that. love that. So uh, that's please. great. I'm yeah. done. And uh, Courtney, what are your handles so everybody can find you? I'm at Comil, C-O underscore M-I-L-L on everything. On everything in the whole um, wide world. Go check out Smosh. We, we love it. We make improv content, sketch content that Olivia and said used to write. They're the best. And awesome. they really are, you guys are funny people. You helped us a lot. Come check us out. We could really use the views. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Courtney, thank you for being here. This has been absolutely lovely as always. We're at Sid and Olivia on everything. This has been Sid and Olivia Talk Shit, the podcast. And as we've just learned, we can say at the end of this, see see you you next next Tuesday. Tuesday. (laughs) Get it? Bye. 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 That's great.